It's okay, Daisy. You can nap. You don't have to walk away. Go sleep, baby. Go lay down. Come on. Come on. Go on the sofa. Go on the sofa. Come on. Come on. Come on. You okay? You okay? You were snuggled so nice in the pillow. That's actually my pillow. She she brought her toy, and then she's napping in here. Such a sweet little girl. She loved to lick that I don't like, but she has so much love to give that it's unconditional. All right, my friends. Here is okay. She's gonna continue lick my hands now. I have to go wash it. Okay. Uh, okay, Daisy, cool it down. Um, yeah, this is it. This is it. Last time when we did with you spinner I told you that it came with the um, flowers and the bird and that it is flowers and the peacock very very gorgeous the size of this this is 11 count you can see in centimeters big 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 design and I'm working on this very corner I put yesterday hoop because it was folded uh, I was stitching in my hands, but I know that it's better to stitch when it's in something to, to record video. I just braid my threads, I pull them out, I untangle them from here. You know how they knotted in here? So I make them all f uh, flat and then I make this gorgeous braids. They are so nice. Okay, let's do it's a lots and lots of threads in here. I don't remember if I stitch with you this one. So this is uh, smaller. Uh, I uh, those uh, threads will all kind of like, uh, tangle up in um, like a, as a extras. So I put them all. So I make in here into it's all same color 65. So I just put two of them. So I I put all my threads now in here so I don't have any extra bag and each of them each side see like I just did the braid and that way it's easy to just grab from here one right and just pull it out easy from the braid by kind of holding with my hand in here and pull out so very very satisfying beautiful colors it's so gorgeous because look at those flowers will be so I'm stitching this corner this first flower and the reds in here reds that that's um, where is my needle oh magnet uh, red if you can look in here there's a two reds dark red and number 41 uh, lighter red so on a camera it's nice and bright and I can see very well but in a real life with no camera these two colors is really like blend in so I have to use my magnifier and a light to distinguish between these two reds so right now I'm working on this darker color and I already did last night that's how much I did with this color so I'm going to finish um, one more thread, maybe like in here, whatever I have the darker color. And then on camera, on video for you, I can go and not to worry, mix those two colors. So we will be working on this other red. I'm not sure what kind of color that will be. 41 should be peekaboo. Oh, that is a beautiful, look at this, 41. It's going to be this darker burgundy kind of. Oh, that, that is a pretty, pretty color. Okay, so now I'm working with a little bit lighter color. Um, also, I have a video unboxing to do. So I think I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to record video unboxing right now before the dog next door start barking or something. Uh, and then I will continue and stitch together with you. And we will chit chat. It is next day now, Friday 13. I finish uh, all my color, the dark red, I finished last night. And, and actually I started with this deep, deep red or burgundy, I would say. And you can see already it's in here. 
how beautiful already it's getting that deep shadow a separation of the petals of the flower I love it the way it's look like so um, that's that's the color this red one that we are going to create but I think uh, I'm just looking where should they start um, let's let's maybe just let continue and wiggle here up not sure I'm kind of sometimes I'm looking passage how is better way to go uh, I might well start in here because I don't have a right now big available frame and I don't want to take it off of the different um, design because this is kind of like a spinner pick right so next time I will be working on something different so I might will be using the same hoop again for the next one if if my spinner will pick something for the next time so let me start from this side uh, I will bring you to this point I think let me just zoom to that part and I will have to hold my canvas kind of it's in a hoop but at the same time um, it probably gonna be wobbly because I have to hold the uh, I can't really maybe I can put something heavy on this side mm, oh maybe my iPad will fit between legs of my um, tripod because I need to put something heavy for the stabilizing my canvas we're gonna move the magnet to the side oh you know what it might work it might work there um, so yeah I'm just going to start from here and I guess go down so this is the red and oh yeah you can see very well orange so it's a different color um, not to flip my canvas on another side I will start as I start on my canvas uh, when I work with European uh, town from the front of my canvas usually I go from top to the bottom coming out on the opposite side like a crisscross let me just get my light maybe I'm just position from here that way I can see better okay so usually with this canvas I start from the back of my canvas all the time but right now I would be not comfortable I should start my thread before I start video and kind of wave on the back as I usually do but that's okay not big deal I will chop this little tail later later and I will work with uh, yellow color whatever that will be so far I really enjoy it actually to work with these threads they feel really soft and silky I don't know what kind of threads this is but they are so like it's so soft to hold them all it, it feels much different from some of the threads from my other canvases love it and I don't even use in here my wax thread uh, threader wax because I think the my axis lying down on a canvas pretty good I'm actually happy what I see so I don't think I need to wax my thread maybe I will try later with different color if that will be like too wiggly or something but so far oh my goodness I love this color I really love this color and maybe on the end of this video we will also do another spin what are you saying to see what kind of canvas we will work next time and hopefully some of you have the same canvas and 
you can join my stitching together. We will be doing some progress together. This um, bright red colors a little bit bother me with this. Okay, I will do different. I will turn off the light, but I will look through the magnifier so I can see better. And it's been now, what is it, three o'clock. Uh, in half an hour Catherine will be home so I'm just trying to catch up with the video it's actually my second recording video today I went on a very back field with my dogs wanted them to play a little bit that field that I showed you in my previous video and OMG there was a uh, two big dogs up there without leash and they didn't body are pulling me so hard that I'm literally like walking behind them I cannot even pull them back and the, oh they're like going slowly not to worry I say is your dog going to be attacking my because they are coming towards my dogs and looks like like a pit bull I don't know what kind of dogs that was maybe not pit bull but it's a big dogs two big dogs without leashes I was terrifying because if they would attack my dogs, I would go in the middle. Um, especially uh, to tell you the secret that uh, Buddy, he don't like big dogs. If he feels something strange, he starts to growl and that's the sign for me that if I don't pull him in time, he will attack the dog. Um, I don't know what he feel. He he can play and toggle like with quick toy with little tiny dogs. He love tiny dogs, but big dogs he really careful. So finally, the owner came to his dogs. He was holding them by the necklaces um, and kind of sit and wait and asking me which way I will go for a walk with my dogs so he can continue and I tried to pull my dogs and they were just going sniffing on those dogs and I can't pull them out they are too strong they stronger than I am and I start to hear that somebody start to growl slowly I'm like oh my god here we go we are gonna have some fight in here and get some bloody mess but Thankfully, I pull all my strength and with my sore hands, my goodness, it's going to be sore tomorrow probably. My wrists are so pull, poor, plus my, you know, the elbow uh, bugging me these days a little bit more. I find a way to pull them out and we went a little bit further for a walk. And uh, he went with his dog the opposite way. Since my dog did their thing that they have to do, we went back through the backyard and that's it. I'm not taking them anymore. And usually I take them only on my backyard. And my husband usually say, well, why don't you take them on our backfield? I say, well, because I don't know. Like, first of all, the grass up there a little bit too long. I don't know if it's a thick time already yet or not. Um, and plus, I don't know if anybody would walk up there with dogs. And I always tell him because my husband usually takes dogs up there without leash too. 
and they play and like to chase each other but obviously they listen to him more if if I would let them out without leash they would run to the target whatever they see if somebody would walk or this dog or just uh, people walking they like to play but the people could be scared you know who knows if that will attack or not if two big dogs run towards you so I got really scared today I thought that's it I am not going there by myself anymore especially hold them both on the leash they are strong dogs and they even they pull you they pull you <laughs> And they don't really like to listen much so I will just end up walk and take them on a, my backyard that is fence from the backyard and um, my plan is to um, to create um, a fence other side from the backyard from the road like by the shed up there where I grow my flowers to create totally close in fenced backyard so my dog could uh, run up there and I could do some crafting on the backyard sitting up there or even something and puppy would be you know next to me so yeah but I don't think we will do that part of the A fencing yet because we are planning hopefully I don't know if this time this year or not to put new asphalt on the driveway because it's really sinking in and start to get like very deep um, tires uh, ridges uh, because before when a house was built in a front of the cross street from us the big cement truck would turn himself on our driveway and they damage so they did fix but it the ground still sinking up there, up there all the time so we want to uh, to do the whole driveway together maybe our neighbors my good side neighbors will join so we can have a one seamless uh, driveway because there's no separation between them neighbors you know it's the same uh, so we can do together and after that because we want to extend driveway further to the shed all the way actually and maybe um, buy a new like you know like a type of she shed if you know what I'm talking about uh, something like that that uh, a little bit would be better looking in the backyard at the one we have already old so lots of plan little time we'll see what we can afford first of all so now as our plan go to Ukraine this year cut off short we can use the money that we were saving for the trip we can fix a little bit property around house right don't have to keep the money somewhere stashing to do something with them to update a little bit property What do you think about this colors? It's not beautiful, the deep, deep burgundy. I like this color. So I don't know how to get from here. Maybe I should go for here now. Yeah, I think I will go from here and then from here I will jump to there. All right, let's do it that way. I 
I even feel like plus this canvas is not very um, like it's soft uh, well it's it's a little bit stiff but nearly not close to what we get in like this uh, small canvases for example of Joy Sunday those are very stiff this one canvas pretty much not bad uh, kind of soft so it wasn't even really not much difficult to even put in this hoop which I help with my knee even to push <laughs> to push the hoop through the fabric to hold it so it's not slipping away but uh, I did it easy kind of so maybe I just going to leave this uh, hoop on this canvas just for in case my spinner will pick another I mean yeah one more time this one we will create at least one flower to see the real beauty will be of this canvas mm. these flowers are beautiful in here seriously I cannot wait to actually finish this one little color a uh, corner to see the colors on the flowers if they are as beautiful as on a preview or better or more softer maybe color you never know because whatever we have ink printed picture could be different look with the threads So after this uh, video, I might will create a little bit more progress on this one. I don't know. It depends which one uh, canvas we will pick next time. Maybe I would be gladly to continue on something else. Uh, but definitely I would need to, to do this out camera. Uh, I will show you quickly if you look. You see like my my hoop go right a little bit on a corner a corner in here so i will have to um uh, take away the hoop and do this like in my hands so to stitch in my hands on camera it's not good but definitely i can do in my hands quickly by myself and then re hoop and continue stitch together Okay, hold on. The needle I'm using, the one that was together with this canvas shop, I would say it's a little bit, I feel like uh, this needle a little bit more thinner than I'm using for my um, European town, but also very, very comfortable, very comfortable this needle. A little bit more sharper than my other one but also it's kind of like a cut top uh, but needle itself a little bit smaller thinner and very comfortable to stitch and because the canvas is not very stiff so it's mean not like very thick layer of the paint print so it's very easy to work on I think it would be very easy to work in hands but because of the canvas are so big you would have to kind of roll it and I I have no idea how to um, because it's so big it's uh, to roll it you have to keep the roll somewhere like on a table right and because I'm here at the desk till I finish my craft room maybe I would stitch up there but a big table uh, I could roll it, would have more room. Uh, but for now, I guess uh, I just fold the other side as was folded in a in a packaging. So it's basically folded the other side. I told Catherine yesterday. I say Catherine, you know, you see how big this design is I say when I die you better finish 
she started laughing and she said, Mom, I'm not to this kind of stuff. Well, I say, well, you have to finish my stitching. <laughs> so I better live to finish because I know she's not going to. So yeah, God, give me longer years to live. Thank you. Even sometimes I'm falling apart and everything hurt. I cannot stay away from crafting. And I know that some of my problems is for crafting too much. I'm stressing my, you know, my hands and everything. But I cannot help it because this is something my passion about. Let me just, feels like it's not straight. Okay. It's my passion. I cannot help it. Okay, we go into next petal, and I will be going to my to my right. This is my right to kind of get that little corner on the bottom, which the way you look, and it's like a top for you, right? If you have a chance to order this canvas, uh, obviously it's a very big canvas, so a little bit more expensive than the other ones. But if you have a chance, oh, the, the threads of the colors of the threads are so gorgeous that just, just for the sake of the threads, <laughs> you, you kind of feel like you need to have this. And threads is really soft, very comfortable to stitch with them. They do not tangle yet. And I think I might mention that already when I was stitching with the light color that I really, really like the quality of the threads when I was working on this one. I'm not, I can't remember if I stitched this by myself or I did video with it. Mm, do not remember. We are in 22 minutes already, so I will be working, even if I have to edit video, that's okay. I will work till I finish this thread, if you don't mind, a little bit longer video. And some of you mentioned even the other day that Please create another video as long as, as you can. <laughs> I would love to create video as long as I can, but do you know how long it's take to process? My goodness, sometimes it's turning all day long if it's long video. And it's really annoying to wait for the video to upload. It's hours and hours turning to put pieces together and then hours to get this to YouTube channel. And then I have to write in description and links. Uh, I'm not sure if I can find a links for this design. If they see my camera already turn off on me. If I find a link to this design, I will definitely will uh, write down link in my description box. Just for in case somebody of you really enjoying with this design and you also want to work on. So I do have, do I have another package in? Let, let me see. Uh, yeah, I do have a um, code for it on a, on a bed. So I should have no problem to find that if they still have in stock. And then, well, I have a lots of uh, huge canvases like this that is absolutely stunning and I wish I could <laughs> just uh, you know work on them all I don't know how many lives I need but if you don't need you can just bite a little piece right 
uh, remember those for example deers winter deers that I have similar canvas of diamond painting and I have a cross that, that I purchased in a valley village or something it was brand new canvas somebody uh, took to the store but the cover picture was different it's like a wedding something so I purchased for the sake of the threads because I saw the palette of the threads was all new not even touched and then I was super surprised when I opened at home doing my shopping haul in front of the camera front of you I discovered that the canvas is absolutely different and it's absolutely stunning gorgeous so yeah I I love that too Maybe one day when I um, finish to organize my craft room downstairs, I will create video like a collection of huge canvases that I have already and um, or like my favorite one, which one I would love to start anytime, any day. lots of them will take forever to do but it's kind of easier a little bit on a uh, 11 count it's much easier I already start thinking last night what should I take with me to the campground and I think that probably the best thing is to take some kind of cross stitch to keep up there and stitch all the time if it's like a bad weather maybe raining so we could sit on brand new deck and cross stitch just to be careful not to get a rain splash on a printed canvas or even inside of the trailer if it's raining so I need to think maybe you can help me to pick some idea okay, I'm trying to find a hole here uh, what kind of because last year my puppy flowers was all the time at the camper and I still didn't finish because lately uh, I did not work on it just once recently I created one video uh, would love to finish the too but also I want to have some or you know what we can do we can surprise ourselves well myself <laughs> to take something to the camper to maybe create again the spinner wheel whatever week on the weekends like I would stitch at the campground not saying that I will have a time all the time for it, but if I do, what should I stitch? That would be fun, I think. So it's always would be something different. And one canvas I would leave there like for all the time, just so I need to maybe, um, for example, if spinner will pick something that is 14 count, which I would love to keep 14 count at home and work only on 11 count that way uh, definitely I wouldn't need any magnifier I would see very well even if it's a sunny day and sun blinding me with the sunglasses I could stitch an 11 count no problem so maybe we will spin 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 till we get to some kind of canvas that has 11 count on it tell me if this is, would be a good idea okay so now from here to here it's kind of like inch usually I like to wave at least once on the back of my canvas I don't know if I can wave blindfolded without seeing anything under my canvas probably not gonna happen let me try it no I cannot see it okay so here is what I will do I am just gonna exit in here just so I don't lose my thread just like that uh, and let's do more fun 
let's do more fun okay see how beautiful it's already getting darker it's getting darker uh here is what we're gonna do let me get my spinner and let's see what we could use for next time i think i have a here in my spinner i have cross stitches that is um counted in a separate let me check yeah so this is all oh you can see me this is all counted and then next one is a uh, printed so let's spin and see what we have rose seven oh this rose it's a um, 14 count joy sunday that i purchased on aliexpress a long 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 time ago maybe like four three years ago and i put few stitches up there and that's it so there you go rose seven it's the companion of my poppy flowers that i finished already so that's my will be next target to work on a video okay but just for in case just for in case let's see what would be in counted i really want to get some progress on counted cross stitch i need to do catherine's hey i hate but it's not what is this wishing well garden uh which one hold on i have a two gardens that's it that's what i will do but this uh that that's the canvas that bonnie gifted me wishing well garden i will that's the dress that daisy <laughs> chew a little bit on it and screwed up my dmc code that i don't know how to figure out now to put it uh yeah i will work on that one without of course video because i really need to pay attention to the count i just will show you kind of uh, with the rose i will show you that one beginning and uh on the end of the week maybe i will have a chance to stitch a little bit but rose counted canvas rose uh it's probably also already without frame so we'll have to put in a frame uh that canvas is very tiny so i i do have a smaller hook than this one and what do you think about this colors i think it's very very pretty very pretty so that's it for this time of the stitching i created pretty good uh you know update in here with all these reds all over now um you can remember actually remember what i have right in here and maybe i will have like a screenshot of this video to to show you how it looks like uh, and then i will continue to work with this dark till i finish this flower and maybe next time we'll show you a little bit more progress so i don't want to just you know finish video and don't work anymore on it i will finish all the dark spots to create this beautiful shady area all right my friends i love you all thank you for staying with me today i see you tomorrow